This one is confused. I thought we were going to the Orc City. Where are all the buildings? This is the worst city this one has ever visited. If I were a stronger man, I'd go out and look for it myself. Did I hear correctly? Will you be visiting the wrecked ships? If so, perhaps I could impose upon you for a small favor. I apologize for even asking, but I have no qualms admitting that I am no match for even one Reeker, let alone a dozen of the foul creatures. If, during your travels, you happen upon a gold pendant, well, it belongs to me. In light of all the lives lost, it may seem trivial, but I spent a month's wages on the pendant. It was to be a betrothal gift for my lovely Eleni. Thoughts of her beauty help me survive this terrible disaster. Find it, and I will be in your debt. I appreciate your help. The pendant holds a great deal of sentimental value to me. It's a beautiful piece, crafted of delicate gold and inscribed with my lovely Eleni's initials on the back. There is not another like it for a thousand and a thousand leagues. Truth be told, I did not so much lose the pendant as I was forced to leave it behind when we abandoned the wrecked ships. It should still be locked away in a coffer in my cabin, if that part of our ship hasn't sunk into the icy sea. You doubt my word? That pains me. Of course the pendant belongs to me. I am the one that asked you to find it. I am the one who described its perfect beauty. And I am the one who needs to recover it for his betrothed. What other proof do you need? First the storm, then we crashed upon the ice. Those terrible little monsters attacked us. I just wish my wife wasn't still out there. I don't mind admitting that I'm lost without her. Help? Of course we need help. My wife is Lady Sovel, ambassador to the High King. She was on her way to Orsinium to negotiate an important trade agreement. But the ships went off course, crashed in the storm. My wife disappeared in the confusion. You want to discuss geography? Now? My wife is missing! We need to find Lady Sovel. She was helping people off one of the wrecks, the other survivors. Captain Henriza won't risk any more sailors, but perhaps you could search the ice for me? High King Emmerich relies upon my dear Sovel. If she were here, she'd know what to do. My lady Sovel, if it will help, I'll tell you whatever you'd like to know. High King Emmerich sent her to negotiate a lucrative trade agreement with Orsinium. But it's probably too late for that now. What else would you like to know? It was powerful. Practically a blizzard. I think it blew us off course, but uh, who am I to judge such things? I'm not a sailor and terrible with directions. Sovel says I'd get lost on my own estate if not for all the servants. I'm not sure how these negotiations work. It's really more of Sovel's area of expertise. Without her, I, I don't know who can deal with Orsinium. We did have an orc with us. Scordo. Sovel thought well of him. But you know how orcs can be. The last time I saw my wife, right after we hit the ice, the storm was raging and everything was loud and confusing. Sovel sent me ashore with the first group of survivors. She stayed behind to help, just like she always does. Please find her. I saw you talking to that milksop, Ethian. He's nothing like his father, nothing at all. But I don't have time for his belly aching. I need to make sure we don't lose any more people to the cold and the ice. I am. Although I'm not sure that means much now that my vessels are smashed upon the ice. Is there something you want? Or are you just here to remind me of my failures? Off course? What do you know of navigation and seamanship? I'm paid to make port as fast and as safely as possible. I've sailed this coastal sea lane before. Not that it's any of your business. If not for the storm, we'd be in Orsinium by now. 
We rescued Ethi, and what more do you want? Haven't I lost enough sailors already? The Ambassador's gone, probably drowned or crushed on the ice. I have a duty to the survivors here. Besides, we never should have come to this land in the first place. On the quarterdeck? During the storm? She was helping one of those green-skinned savages she loved so well. Who can say, though, I was trying to avoid an iceberg at the time. Yeah. <laughs> 
You don't look familiar. Which of the ships were you sailing on when... when we hit the ice? I'm the first mate of the flagship, Matir's Fortune. I... I came down here to secure the hatches when... when I saw the Ambassador's bodyguard. And then I hit my head. I don't remember anything after that. Now that you mention it, I thought something was wrong. I never sailed with Captain Henriza before, and I never sailed this part of the sea, so I could have been mistaken. I tried to reach the captain, but that's when we ran into the blizzard. I wouldn't want to disparage the captain. She works for Lord Ethian's father, and most of the ships belong to him. Because of the Ambassador's mission, they wanted to make an impression. <laughs> Nobles. Scordo the Knife? He's an orc from North Point. The Ambassador brought him along in case we ran into any trouble. He told me that he thought something was going on, and asked me to keep my eyes open. The Ambassador? I have no idea. I did see Lady Sovel and the Captain having a heated discussion right before the storm hit. Oh dear. I hope the Ambassador wasn't injured when we crashed. Go check on Lord Ethian. He's a nervous sort. Oh! <laughs> 